Today on Every Burger in Vegas, we're eating at Echo and Reed. Echo and Rig is a good steakhouse here in Vegas. They cure their own meats in house. You know, they're dry aging their, their bacon here. They make good steaks. But how are the burgers? That's what I want to find out today on Every Burger in Vegas. We're digging in. How are the steaks at this Las Vegas favorite, Echo and Rig? Let's go. Let's see some burgers. Uh, for two? Yeah. Berman. Look at these beautiful meats they got here. Stairs are fine. Thank you. How are you? Really good. Would it be possible to eat outside? Yeah, this is perfect right here. Off the bat, Echo and Rig, great steakhouse, great vibes, and it's so high end that feeling when you walk in. They walked us up the stairs. This is a good date spot. This is a good business dinner spot. We're here for lunch, and so. Lunch is when you don't eat steak typically, unless you love steak, unless we're doing every steak in Vegas. But lunch typically you eat a burger. And that is why we're gonna have the Butcher Blend Burger, which has that prime beef, bib lettuce, brandy wine tomato, aioli, and red onion served with some fries. So I'm excited to try it, I wanna dig in. Here is your mission for the week. Turn It Up World are a great bunch of YouTubers husband and wife going around trying the best stuff in Vegas. Now, I would love to collab with Turn It Up World. I think it would help grow the channel. I think it would help fuse the Vegas scenes together. We all need to be on each other's channels, you know? So I would love to have Turn It Up World in here. So if you want to go on over to Turn It Up World's channel, leave a comment. Hey, when are you going to eat a burger with every burger? That would keep it going. That would really help. So go ahead and do that, and I'll see you soon eating a burger at Echo and Rig. How are you guys doing? Going great. Yeah, yeah. Shane will be taking care of you. I love your shirt. Thanks. Uh, can we just get one of the butcher blend burgers? Absolutely. Just a feeling. Yeah. <laughs> That's all we eat, yeah. <laughs> butcher ground, fresh ground beef, hyping up the burger. That's how you know it's going to be good. That's all we like, you know, as food reviewers, you can butter us up a little bit. There's different reactions to reviewers here in Vegas. Some restaurants, they hate reviewers. They want to kick you out. They want to yell at the cameraman, Terrence, when he's getting his footage. Other places love you. Echo and Rig? Seemed to be great. He was telling us about the burger. Will I let that influence my reviews? Of course not. If it's a one, I'll tell you it's a one. What I found is when they have care at every step of the way, the food is good, right? If they're kind to reviewers, they know what that means. If they're kind to their customers, that also leads into maybe they're kind with their purchasers. They're buying better quality beef. Like that care shines through. It's always a green flag for me when they're happy to have people come in and try their burger on video. So it's a good sign for Echo and Rick. Good sign. That's lovely. The manager came over, introduced himself. Echo and Rig, top tier so far. Top tier service here. I know we don't normally do this, but I'll try a little bit of the bread. Fresh bread, homemade butter. Mm. Flavor bomb. If you could say that about buttered bread, it doesn't even taste like salted butter. It's just really high quality cream, maybe a little bit of salt, and then fresh bread. Have some bread, Terrence. I know you love bread. Yes, look at that. We've got the burger, we've got the cheese. Looks high quality. The vegetables are interesting. There's this orange tomato, I think an heirloom tomato. So I think we're gonna eat it with the vegetables on there. Maybe a little dollop of ketchup, just cause they put it here. Let's try it out. This is the cheeseburger from Echo and Rig. Let's give it a try. Every burger in Vegas. Mmm. There are layers of flavor to this burger. It almost felt like one of those carnival games where you like hit it and then it decides your fate or whatever. Like I bit it and I was like, okay, this is like five out of 10. Then the meat flavor took over and I was like, oh wow, seven out of 10. Then there was a whole other meat flavor that took it all the way over the top. You can see it almost looks like it's raw. That's how you gotta cook meat like this because then you don't lose any of the flavor. You get all of that juiciness. We might have a good one here, Terrence. But before I get my full rating, you know what we gotta do? Let's tear this baby apart. We've got the bun. Bun tastes like it was possibly baked in house. We're here for lunch. I think it was maybe baked last night because it tastes a little bit like maybe it's day old, but I'm not gonna fault them for that. Then into the burger itself, beautiful ketchup. I think it's just Heinz ketchup. The cheese 
is not your typical cheese. It's some kind of aged cheese, a lot of really good flavor going on. Then the vegetables themselves are high quality, these heirloom tomatoes. Mm. This might be the best tomato I've ever eaten. It's just so clean, so fresh. Then we've got the red onion here. Nice big piece of red onion. Mm. Good crunch to it. Then the lettuce itself. Fresh lettuce, no weird taste, but also kind of flavorless. But I really think the star of the show is the meat here. Mm. The meat is next level. Fat balance is perfect. It's so fatty. The flavor of it is perfect. It's so flavorful. The cooking on it is perfect. It's not too done, but it's also not crazy raw either. The meat temperature is perfect. Then underneath you have this sauce, garlic aioli, just a hint of that raw garlic, just takes the flavor to the next level. It's beautiful. We've got the bottom bun, which again, we're coming for lunch. It's not gonna be a fresh baked bun. You know, they're probably gonna use like some of the leftovers from last night, but man, this is one of the rare times where I almost want to reassemble the burger and take another bite because it was that good. One more bite of this. Beautiful, fresh, filling, perfectly cooked, not too packed. Echo and Rig Butcher Burger. It's a 10 out of 10. Mm. Let's move on to the final thoughts. When it comes to making a good burger, I love a burger without the gimmicks. Meat that's fresh in-house, shopped for well, butchered correctly, cooked correctly in a clean kitchen, fresh vegetables shopped well, picked well, and that's what you get with Echo and Rig. You can tell there's a lot of work that went into this. It's not a smashed burger, you know, where they're trying to hide behind some techniques to crisp it up. It's just literally, hey, here's some really high quality meat presented with this beautiful cheese that it pairs beautifully with. And here you go, here you can enjoy. And then for the price, I think we're gonna cover that in a second, but under 20 bucks for this burger, I mean, really blows something like Carson's Kitchen out of the water. And this is on the level of something like a Holstein's. I mean, if you wanted the exact burger that Holstein's gives, you just put some homemade chips, which they do also serve here on top, and you would have something equal, if not better, uh, than even the Holstein's burger, which so far has been our only other 10 out of 10, if I, if I can recall correctly. Echo and Rig, recommend. Come on out here, this is a great spot. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to smash that like button to encourage this type of content on YouTube. Go on over to Turn It Up World, complete your weekly mission, comment on their video. Let's get them on the channel because I would love to be eating a burger with Turn It Up World, Terrence filming. That'd be pretty sick. Go on over, comment on that video, grab the merch, sign up for the Patreon, comment below what burger should we eat next, and I'll see you next time on Every Burger in Vegas. What a burger. Echo and Rick. Now on to the price for the house blend burger. We're looking at 15 bucks. After the taxes and everything, that's 16.26. Is this the best $15 burger in Vegas? I think so. Definitely better than Carson Kitchen, I'll tell you that much. This is a good price. If this was over on the strip, same burger, might be 40, 50 bucks. This is comparable to something like a Bavette's or I would even say maybe even better than Bavette's. Some of those top end steakhouses on the strip would have similar burgers, so. I'm seconding, definitely recommend. Burger you later. Next week on Every Burger in Vegas. It's crazy how you can walk into a restaurant and just kind of look around and judge how the burger's gonna be.